Hey guys, welcome to God's William Touch once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this image in Photoshop. Now, if you'd like to purchase this PSD file so that you can go through it with me in this video, log on to www.godfilmsretouch.net and you can find out how. Now, this is the original file that I used to create this image. As you can see, it's such a dramatic change and that is why I use the, image, the word create and not retouch because in a sense of retouching, it would simply just enhance the color, enhance the makeup, enhance the the light just enhance you notice I say the word enhance and not change and I basically change that is why I can't say retouched now this is the original file this is this is the raw file no raw conversion this is the raw file with no changes done this is the original file and this is the raw conversion that I use as you can see it's also such a dramatic change from raw conversion to final product now to begin I Okay, I had my raw conversion, and I still like the raw conversion better than the raw file, even though it's so intense. It's such an intense change. I still prefer it in compared to my raw file, and I felt as though there was so much more I can do with the raw conversion. Now, this is my raw conversion, as you can see, and I really want to finish this video fast because I know how tedious my videos can become after a while so I'm going to really try and speed it up as much as I can this is my basically my color changes after I realized okay my raw conversion is a bit much it's a bit too red it's a bit too um it's just way too red it's too red as it looks as though there's too much blood in her head or something like that or basically the image is just too warm and it, it's complete change from the original and I kind of try to take it back a little bit to the original tones um and this is the color changes I made basically I reduced the contrast and in the background and darken it up a bit and I reduced the contrast of the lips as well and added some blues to the eyes it's very unnoticeable in the eyes but I did add some blues to the eyes and that is my working file this is basically my working file now I like this a lot more it looks nice and warm it looks ni really really decent and then I liquefied the image and around the lips I did something that I wasn't too pleased with that that's why there's a mask here on my liquify um, when I liquefied the image I brought up her forehead and I reduced the bumps on her neck and change the shape of her nose as you can see and what I did with the edges of her face is what I think of when I see a very curvy face is that it's kind of fat it's chubby when I see curves like this just round curves like this I think of it being fat that is why I take in the the um, jawline and as well as the cheekbone I hand the cheekbone to make it appear just a lot more interesting to say the least and then I began healing the image and that is just the cleanup I did for the image now I used an inverted high pass now I know a lot of people don't have a lot against inverted high pass even though I know a lot of people still use it and they act as though they don't but the inverted high pass is a tool in Photoshop and it can be used and no matter what people say use it use it just know how to use it know when to use it and know when not to use it and in this case I don't think the image looks fake I don't think it can't be used it should be used in this case and I used it it just kind of made things a little bit flatter and that's why there's dodge and burn it has to be used with other things and you just need to know when and when not to use it um, I dodge and burned afterward just to add back a sense of shape just so that I can understand how I want the image to be lit as well and I added shape and a little bit of depth as well to the face then I did some minor healing it's almost unnoticeable but you can see it right by the eye here and underneath the eyes as well I did some more healing then I dodged and burned just to sharpen things up a bit added some some detailing some detailing in the dodge and burning added some shape as well in the dodge and burn and I reduced the saturation of the image now the saturated image as well as the satur desaturated image looks good as well because the colors are there the colors are on point to me at least so I liked 
both desaturated and desaturated version but i felt the desaturated version would have give, um, given a more natural effect then i added some blush to the cheekbones as well some magentas because the image was so green was so onto the green side and so onto the warmer side i added some magentas just to give it a little pop and then i used a blur tool now i know a lot of people again have a lot against the blur tool be well a lot of high-end retouchers have a lot against blur tool i know a lot of people overuse the blur tool and use it in the wrong way and they basically just blur the entire image and blur the skin i use the blur tool i'm not going to go too in depth when or when not to but there are times where you can use the blur tool and it's a tool in photoshop use it don't listen to anybody who says not to use it use it just know when not to you and when to use it so I use the blur tool for something you could barely know you can't notice it from so far out but if you zoom in you can see where I used it I'm going to show you where I use it I use it right here and it basically was just to even out the sharpness of the image where there were over sharp image um, texture I de um, reduced the sharpness in those cases it's not something you use to smooth out skin absolutely not because you're gonna get something that's not worth paying for or looking at anyway inverted high pass this um i'm going to be honest at this point i don't like what i did here with inverted high pass i really think this took things a little too far um what i used i used it in the shadows just to s because i was maybe because i was lazy that's why i did it in the shadows but it's not i don't like the effect I really don't at this point it kind of made the shadows look like there's banding involved and it looks a bit cheap um but I'm gonna leave it just for the sake that you can know exactly what I did I'm not gonna change it at this point I already did it and uploaded the image so now I use this technique um it's not a technique but it's something it's a blue health basically it re removes all the other distractions and I used it with the the eye help to help me see better it 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 removes the texture the blue help when i blur the entire image um as you can see when you blur an image it is supposed to be smooth and if it's not completely smooth then it's dodge and burn that needs to be done and that is why i blurred it so that it removes the texture because the texture becomes a distraction the texture tends to distract you from the blotches so that's why i at least for me I blurred it so that I can see the blotches alone and not the texture and leave the texture as it is so I blurred it and touched and then as you can see the blur becomes completely smooth at this point it it looks a lot more cleaner as it um as I dodge and burn the blur and then now as I remove the blur the texture is still there and you can see now the dodge and burn and the texture was not a distraction for me because the blue was there and the reason why i use this because i feel as though texture should not be dodged and burned because texture is to be healed because i'm not going to go in at 1000 percent and look at every single bit of skin texture and decide okay i am going to dodge and burn every single skin that is just a waste of time do not do that unless you really have the time you can go ahead and do it but i don't think it's necessary you should heal texture then i added some depth to the image basically creating the focus of the image to be right here this area right here um i added some depth and whew, i believe this is my color correction now i don't like this this group at all i don't like it now i think it just went too far it just make everything look photoshopped that's the word it makes everything look photoshopped this group i don't like it but i fix it later on just to please you know my um just to please myself with the final result i don't like i don't like this but basically I added a gradient map to even out the skin tones and I added another one to because my gradient map probably uh, because of how my colors were it was kind of a mixture of magentas some yellows some greens I mean the skin tones had a lot of color in it and the gradient map just simply made it flat to, to me so I added another one to change the the, uh, the global color of the 
skin and then added some blush and some magentas to certain areas just to make it have a little bit of inconsistencies in the skin then i did some minor healing to the image and i added some highlights this is another step that i did not like i think this as you can see it added some highlight here i feel as though the image had so much focus there already that the highlights were just unnecessary just it just made everything a bit extra just too much for me looking back at it now then i liquefied this part of her chin because i felt as though something was looking a bit wrong with the shape of her face so i liquefied that especially after i had taken in this a bit so i felt as though i needed to do more there as well this is the way I took in her neck. I feel as though her neck was so thick based on how she was twisted. Based on how her head was twisted. Her neck just gave a really thick look. So I had to take that in a bit. Um, and here was basically my final touches before I was completed with the image. I added more depth again. And the reason why I added so much depth to this image. Even more up here as well. I added more again depth right here because uh, i felt as though that the depth that i did create was not n didn't look natural it was just there but it wasn't transitioning as it get further away there wasn't a smooth transition from further to closer it, it just was there it just was a sense of depth and that was it there was no transition so i that's why i kept adding and adding and adding and changing the mask as i added it um, sharpen, I sharpened the eyes, it's almost unnoticeable, dodge and burn, and the eyes as well. The, at this point the eyes are too bright but I'm not noticing it. Someone actually had to tell me that the eyes were too bright. Anyway, dodge and burn the lips, um, slight blues in the whites, with selective color obviously. Eye color, I made the, uh, the colors in the eye basically one color because it was, there was a bit of yellows, a little bit of reds. So I had to change the eye color, I added some eyelashes, some eyebrows, reduce the vibrance. Now the vibrance was set to normal as you can see and not color and as a result there was a sense of some shift in the darks and I kind of liked it so I left it that way. Um, I adjusted the blacks, the color, the tones of the blacks, bright um, slide global filter, I used the photo filter adjustment to do this just to keep things warm and on like one even so it doesn't look like so much separate entities into one image so I kinda had to make everything on one level by adding a photo filter to the image it's kinda like adding a global color over the entire image and just making it appear like it's real like it's one image and not a, a bunch of separate images put into one even though this doesn't have a lot of separate entities but I did do a lot of masking and specific um, changes to specific parts of the face, like the nose and mouth, so I didn't want it to look like too much different things into one image or like a composition. Global saturation, I reduced the saturation further, yes, because my gradient maps, they were a bit, they kind of made the saturation back. Oh, I'm not sure if it's really just the gradient maps or just the color adjustments or as my eyes adjusted. I'm like, I can't justify these changes at this point i think i at this point as as i reduce the saturation i think at this point this was enough i didn't have to go further but anyway maybe at this point after i darkened the eyes because the eyes were way too bright and i didn't notice it someone actually told me that the eyes were too bright they were like they didn't tell me the eyes were too bright they told me that the image looked like a cartoon like an anime character and i thought okay it's definitely the eyes then i dodged the sorry i'm going if i'm going on a rant but I just like to talk. <laughs> Minor dodge and burn fixes again. Um, reduce the highlights over the lip because I felt as though okay, the focus is on the face. This highlight on the f lip is unnecessary. Um, saturation. I added some saturation in the lips and I added some yellows right to the corner of the eye because you know that's that's a makeup thing. I don't know makeup, but I just try to keep the original bit. So I added some and en enhance the corner now this is the final product and this is the original file 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This is it. Um, if you would like to purchase the PSD, once again, you can log on to www.gartwilliamsrichard.net. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Also, you can be sure to share it as well. Share it so people can know it's free knowledge. You can get a lot better at your retouching. Now, I also have a DVD available. Yes, I am promoting myself. There's a DVD available that teaches you everything, teaches you step by step from start to finish of a high key retouching um, example. And you can purchase my DVD as well. It's on my website. All the links will be in the description. So be sure to check it out and happy retouching. Goodbye.